Doctor, uh, you have actually uh, identified the two aspects of uh, remissions happening. One is uh, a screening going wrong, or maybe a not a perfect screening for, for a candidate. The other would be related to that individual who has gone through a procedure. So would you like to highlight on the kind of uh, precautions that an individual needs to take? So uh, the precautions right after, after the procedure, we list them out and we give them to the patients. But a month after the procedure, we tell them the, the patients that you're perfectly all right. Okay. There are no precautions that need to be taken. Yeah. Do your daily activities, do everything. The, the, the only thing which I might tell my patients never to do is uh, no contact sports. Boxing, wrestling, so no, no direct injury to the eye. Right. So right. that's what we ask the patients to avoid. Otherwise, on the long term, there are no precautions that need to be taken. Right. Um, for a short period after the procedure, there are a few precautions. They can't splash water inside the eye. They can't rub their eyes. From the very next day onwards, they can get back to their daily schedules. They can sit, sit on the computers from the next day onwards, read, watch TV, go to a movie theater. So injury also involves if they're riding a bike, I tell them avoid them, avoid riding a bike directly. But if they're riding it, visor on the helmets and a protective glass inside. So, so that's, that's about it. That's uh, what I... Doctor, uh, laser, usage of laser, doing this particular, uh, you know, specific uh, treatment uh, requires speciality. So would you like to highlight on the kind of speciality our, our doctors have uh, in the current context in India? Right, so uh, let me put it down uh, this way that uh, the eye, though, though is, is a very small organ, but it is very, very highly specific to, to there are different parts of the eye and there are about eight subspecialities in, in ophthalmology in, in the eyes as well. So there are some who are cornea specialists, there are others who are retina uh, specialists, uvia, squint. So as a general ophthalmologist, as a general doctor, each doctor can do everything. So he, he's a jack of all trades, but right. master of none. Right. But, uh, but um, like we in the hospital, and uh, we, we, we've been able to make different departments and each of us is a super specialist in our own fields. Right. So I'm a cornea specialist and I also do the refractive surgeries. I did my fellowship in cornea and then I, 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 I proceeded on to do refractive surgery, which is closely related to the uh, cornea. Uh, in India, quite a few refractive surgeons are specialists, the cornea specialists. There are few who are general ophthalmologists and who've learned over a period of time how to do refractive surgeries. And the, so refractive surgery is, doing a surgery is not a big art in the right. sense that it's more of technology which is guiding it. Right. Um, it's more of management of the patients later on. Right. But, but it's not a big uh, sort of a thing even for a general ophthalmologist to be doing a LASIK. But from the viewer's point of view, I mean, uh, let me pose this question that it is always better to go to an uh, institution which would have a bunch of doctors who would have their specialities exactly. and create a wholesome kind of a treatment. Exactly. So, uh, so uh, patients do come down to us and the first, uh, uh, the first time the patient visits any of us is, is we, we are posing as general ophthalmologists. Okay. So when I see a patient and I see a hole in the retina, as a general ophthalmologist, I see it. Now, I've been trained to do retina a little bit, but I don't because there is somebody in, in our setup who's doing a better job. So I send him to the Vitrio retinal specialist who, who will do a better job than me. Um, may, maybe before I joined the hospital, when I did see such a patient, I used to go ahead and laser the patient up and uh, seal the hole in the retina. But it's just that somebody who's, who's doing that inside out, and similarly, the retina specialist, uh, patient might land up uh, for, just for glasses for her, and the uh, patient, uh, patient might have a small corneal um, thinning, he'll be referred down to me. So, right. so it's just that, it's not that the, the other doctor can't do anything, but it's that specialist, being specialist, we do a better job than right. a general ophthalmologist right. can do.